No, matter of fact, hold on. Yes, I am. I want him to come and get his stuff. He can't have none of my baskets, none of my garbage bags, none of that. He can come get his stuff and he can take it over his new baby mom house. I was gonna be nice. I, I was nice and I packed all his stuff and I took it over there, but he trying to play motherfuckers. So he come get his pick his shit up. Like it's trash. Just like him. Come pick that shit up. That's his. He called his baby mama over here like she finna do something. I see you. I was waiting for her to come get this shit. I didn't come to her house. I was on the street. I oh. rolled down the street. I rode down the street. While she's getting his stuff, can you go inside so there's not an argument? So you and her don't argue? I don't even really want her on my motherfucking property. Where he at? He was just over there. Does he have an order of protection or you have one against him or something? Um, I don't know how they did that at court. Well, if there's something like that in question, then you can't come over here and get it. So she can get it or you can take it all back inside for now. I ain't taking this trash in my house. Yep, I sure did. Sure did what? <laughs> Go in the house. Both of those. Go in the house, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, um, motherfuckers just got out. Calling me crying, telling me they mad at me, what they finna do to my friend, friends, or anybody that I'm fucking with. And the whole time, he get dropped off over this damn Honia bitch house, his baby mama. So therefore, I'm gonna throw your shit out, you come get your shit. I ain't taking shit over there. He gonna be, he gonna be whooping your ass next, bitch. <laughs> he gonna be whooping your ass next. He gonna be whooping your ass. Look at this. Was thirsty for him to get out. Her and her buddy. Look at like an NBA All Star. Kobe Bryant. And mugs the bowls. Oh, look at this. Y'all just had to call the police because you knew I was gonna get in that ass. You knew I was gonna get in that ass. You just left my house. Come on, if you really wanted to do something, you could have got away. At your house so you could call the police. So you could call the police just like you did. Just like you did. Hurry up and get your baby daddy trash. Hurry up. No, he left me. He ain't leave me. He ain't leave me. I been doing what I want to do. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Best friends. Aww. Look at y'all. I don't need nobody. I don't. Nah, I'm, they gonna help me throw this shit out because he know he trash. And you finna have him around your kids. Your baby daddy. Your baby daddy. Aww. Uh, threw it all in my dog shit. The one you Pick that with, shit up. Cause that's the only nigga you got. <laughs> no, it ain't. I'm glad you think oh, yeah. that. Like I'm glad you think that. She's fucking the neighbors. She don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Fucking the neighbors. You was fucking and sucking on him after he done had his dick all in my booty hole. Aww. So good job. Aww. Good job choking on some yeah. shitty dick. Hurry up and get the trash. I hope your mother in law has some more garbage bags. She does. She does. I, swear to God, I hope your mother in law has some more garbage bags. You know we had to call the police on his block, so why you ain't come on leave? I don't call the police. Maybe I will come over there. Maybe I will come over there. That's what I want. And get out the car this time. You lucky my mouth dry because I'll spit on your motherfucking ass. That's what I want you to do. Hurry up and get out my motherfucking yard, bitch. Look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. 
He gonna be taking half your check. He gonna be whooping your ass. She gonna be the next one in court. She gonna be the next one in court. You don't even know what the fuck. So you know what goes on in my house? You don't know what the fuck goes on in my house. You don't know what the fuck goes on in my house. No. You wish you did. That's his shit. Take all that shit. No. I ain't keeping shit. I don't gotta give that shit to nobody. That shit fake. Nobody want that shit. The only thing in here that was real it was my motherfucking watch. So hurry up. Y'all take it too long. You lucky the police ain't right here and you in my motherfucking yard. You in my motherfucking yard, bitch. You lucky. Ugly ass. You ugly. You switch faces. Act like you fucking them too. I might be you mad. You mad? <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. Look at these pitiful hoes. You pitiful. Pitiful. You Picking pitiful. up his shit off the ground. Where he finna go? Let his head at home. Good. I'm glad he's not here anymore. Cause now I could go and move my nigga in. That's why she's mad. I'm glad he's not here anymore. Let everybody see how pitiful y'all is. Talking all that shit, we'll go ahead on live. And she got a whole man at home. She over here picking sure up another do. nigga shit. Sure do. What that look like? Sure do. It's Her do. nigga trash. Sure do. Cause ain't no, way. ain't no way. way. Ain't no way. I don't give a fuck. I'm glad. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, okay. Five years. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker got what? Eight motherfucking kids and don't take care of take none care of them? Of them. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Anybody that know this nigga know, he don't take care of his motherfucking kids. Don't take care of none of his motherfucking kids. Fuck them motherfucking kids. And your kids. I'll say it to them. I'll say it to you. Fuck you and your motherfucking baby. Look, a glass baby. Time, Look like an old ass lady. I promise you ain't nobody gonna call the police on leave. You heard what you I said. You talk about my son yeah. talking about he ride a slow bus. Slow ass Fuck ass your slow ass, ass fucking little ugly ass, ass, ass baby. Where's What's up, hearing aid? Where your hearing aid at? He don't need one. Yeah, he don't need one, bitch. Oh, he don't need it now. He, he, been, he finally got cured. <laughs> yeah. Girl, exactly. I know. Look at her grill. Everybody look at that grill. A grill. That's that sour ass dick. When you mix it with some sour pussy, you come out with a sour ass motherfucking baby. That's what happened. I'm so glad. This is a blessing. This is a blessing, y'all. It's a blessing. I've been getting blessed all week for real. I've been getting blessed all week. All week. I already know who it is blessing me. Y'all know y'all. This shit is so funny. Yeah, really. Every time one, they, they can't never come alone. They always got to come together. Yes, exactly. And you looked at me and I looked straight at you like, bitch, keep it moving. And you turned around and you kept going. And you kept going. And you kept going. Exactly. I'm ugly, y'all. I'm ugly. She said I'm ugly. This thing right here. This thing said right, right here said I'm ugly. Look, this, this thing right here said I'm ugly. Built like a motherfucking minion. Looking like group. Huh? Hurry up and pick that motherfucking shit up. Like face. Ugly. Really? Really? Yeah, you bitch, you oh, ugly. You no bitch, you ugly. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Yeah. Y'all almost done. They almost done. Well, hey, 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 hey. They almost wow. done.
Her whole fucking family just saw the crackhead ass. Well, I ain't on my fucking crackhead. <laughs> Look, now she talking like she know me. Said, fuck that bitch. Did he say he now she talking about like she know me. I know what she said on Facebook. All these niggas been talking about your nasty ass. Where you at now? Just nasty. Oh. We almost done. Oh, almost done. You know where I live, bro. I do. You really that I do. You gonna find out. You gonna find out. So make sure you got some bomb money together. Make sure you got some bomb money together. Make sure you got some bomb money because it's going to be mutual. It's going to be mutual. Y'all call them now. You call them now. You call them now. Scary as fuck. You already knew. You already knew not to come over here. You already know, nasty ass bitch, flat booty, flat back. Look like a fucking teeth, look like a fucking piranha. Built like a pinata. You don't get the fuck out of here. Get your ass the fuck out of here. Her, tell, can you tell them to go? They done. Pull the fuck off. Pull the fuck off. Can you tell them to leave? <laughs> are you down? Yeah, are you done? Yeah, they're done. Yep, yeah, they're done. I sure will. Y'all ain't scaring nobody. Well, they gonna get that kid. <laughs> Why are you back out here doing the house? I had to get my phone. This pitiful. Uh, he about a month and a half. They didn't even get all that man shit. All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm good. I'm glad all that stuff is gone. I ain't got to worry about him no more, but I'm, uh, I'm going to let y'all know. I think there's a no contact order with Mr. Boston and us. Um, he, Mr. Boston. Milo Boston, who we're talking about. Yeah. Um, he has been threatening to like beat up anybody that comes to my house and all this and that. So what do I do about that? I'm shit. I need to do something about them. Period. Have you looked into enough stopping the contact order against them? Because shoot, they be harassing my kids and some more stuff when they be outside. You do that will cover you and your kids and your property, and then if they violate, they go to jail. Yeah, and okay, because you know I usually don't act like this, but he just flat out just lied yesterday just and been threatening and everything else and i kindly if you, you can ask his mom i packed everything up folded it up nice and neat that was only that wasn't even half of it a majority of it was already over there in totes and stuff that's me being nice well, and i shouldn't even have did that them away as well. Okay. And if your grandson then they can't have any contact with you. If they do, they get arrested. That's just fucked up that these motherfuckers stay right across the street from me. That was the most stupidest thing I could have let this nigga have me do. Move across the street from his mama. I don't know how to help you on that one. I know. I'm sure. I'm finna be looking into moving and that's what I'm gonna do. Well, if there are issues until you guys figure out what you wanna do, just call them we'll do what we can at the time, okay? Okay. And uh, just to make it clear, officer, one of y'all, I can ride up in, up and down any street I please, right? As long as I'm not on anybody's property. If they have a, an order against you, mm -hmm. it, it'll tell you to stay a certain amount of feet away from their residence. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're not on their property, you 
long as you make sure you stay away from that. No, he, he moved the gate. Because all I did was ride down the street. Well, just make sure if you got an order against you, read it. Well, is that where he's paroled to? Because I mean, if that's where he's paroled to, then then of course I need to stay away from over there because there's a no contact order. I don't have a paper. No, I didn't get a paper. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Well, look, this show's starting to get dark. I'm glad he, well, got that little bullshit before it started raining. All right. For any everybody that's tuning in or whatever, Mr. Boston, the one that cheated on me last summer and got this ratchet ass bitch pregnant. The same baby that he been denying for how month, how many months decided, well, I don't know how he got out. Y'all answer me this question. How the fuck do you catch a domestic while being on parole for a domestic and not go back and serve your parole time? That's a motherfucking Jeopardy question if you ask me. And this motherfucker out. He out, y'all. It ain't like I'm scared or nothing. He just came over here and looked at me like I was crazy because he already know. I can't believe he thought that he was finna do this shit and I was just gonna be like, oh, like I wasn't gonna find out. This is how I found out, everybody, that he went to the bitch house as soon as he left Statesville. Not that I'm even mad that he went over there. It was the fact that he called me while I'm at Autumn's motherfucker funeral talking about what he gonna do because I'm he know I'm fucking this nigga and I'm fucking that nigga or whatever what the fuck his family been telling him what these motherfuckers don't know shit get your ass up from over here shit telling him I'm doing this and doing that he calling me threatening me in my house and all this and that but the whole time, oh, crying. When I say crying, boo-hooing. Big crocodile tears. Crying. Told me he loved me more than he loved his motherfucking kids. He almost got me with that one. But the whole time he over there laid up with this nasty ass bitch y'all just seen outside picking his clothes up out my yard. Thirsty. He choking. I told everybody she was thirsty. She was wait. How, I ain't no way. I finna have no nigga deny my motherfucking baby. And then as soon as he get out, just thirsty for him. I think he paroled over there, y'all. Which is funny to me. These bitches think they cute, but it, they really just look pitiful. Really just look pitiful. And meanwhile, your girl is chilling. I'm happy. I'm free to do whatever the fuck I want to do. I've been doing it anyway. But now I really ain't got to worry about it. Whew. Shit. So all the niggas, let all the niggas know. Your girl. I guess I'm single. I am. I'm single, y'all. After what? Like six years? It's a few of y'all, shoot, I've been having my eye on. I got little crushes on and shit. So if I jump in your inbox, don't mind me. <laughs> but, um, yep, your girl is single. And I guess I'm ready to mingle. And I ain't worried about shit, especially them bitches or his motherfucking ass. She ain't finna be doing nothing but giving him half her motherfucking check. He gonna be over there whooping her ass. Her and that little ugly ass baby. And meanwhile, me and my kids over here chilling. Yes, I had my kids help me put that shit outside. Sure, I've been at work all motherfucking day. I ain't feel like having to do all that stuff. So, And anything my kids said, I ain't tell them to say that. That's just how they feel. But um, I guess I'm going to get off here. I already know the copycats probably got their little live going since they seen me. <sighs> and meanwhile... I already got my workout clothes on because I was 
finna go work out slash get ready for a fight, but I guess I'm gonna head to the park or something. Motherfuckers ain't on shit for real. I get here. Why is he humping the motherfucking blanket? The fuck? <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Anyway, um, we good. I'm good. Motherfucker out my shit. He with his uh nasty ass bitch, ugly ass bitch. Like she been one, and I'm happy. Can't get no happier than that. How you feel, Kai? How do you feel? You don't feel nothing. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yes. It's sad. It really is sad, Joanne, because I was oh, with that man for six motherfucking years and been with him through all the bullshit from his previous relationship, thinking the motherfucker finna change, try to help him get on his feet. Every time I give him something, motherfucker fall off. Then you want to blame it on me. Hey, don't blame it on me. Shit, I've been on my feet all my motherfucking life. And shit, sure, every time I fall off, I get back up on my own. Which one? The bald head one? No, the, the the fat ass one is the one he went to. The fat one. The bald head one. She, man, this bitch, she's so fucking funny. Because every time she see me, the every time she see me, she it, it'd be a whole nother story. But when she get with her friend, she all about that life. My it's porn. No, Yolanda, me and Milo aren't going to work it out. How do you work out having a baby by somebody else? Ain't no working that out. Ain't sure. That, you can't come back from that. Then you lying and shit. Just, just go. I'm cool. I'm so much better without him. Motherfuckers ain't on shit anyways. He won't keep a job. I didn't got this motherfucker a job and wouldn't keep it. He quit going to work for a couple weeks and they wouldn't even fire him because she was so cool with me. She kept him on a motherfucking payroll. I told him he needed to get his motherfucking job back. Is it raining? My window's down. Ah! What the fuck? Where's my keys at? On the floor. Ah! Here, hold this. I guess you do record my ass working out here. Zeus! Mama Zeus! Go kill! Oh! <laughs> Where you go? Yeah. 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 Mama Selena laughing. Shit! That rain cold as fuck. So, and they, they probably up in the rain doing that. Huh? Huh? They probably in the rain taking the stuff in. Oh, uh -huh. I wish that rain had caught they motherfucking slow asses. Damn, my socks wet. Zeus, <sighs> Oh hell, now we got a wet dog. Take his ass up to the damn bathtub. Daddy, take him upstairs. Get that collar and stuff off of him. Well, y'all, I'm gonna have to cut my little thing short. Cause I done got the dog wet, and I ain't with that. This should be fun. But anyways, they probably got their little lives going and stuff. I'm gonna roll through there. I feel like ride through there. My brother still ain't gonna do shit. And it's just me. As they can see, I don't call nobody. Anybody that know me know that I ain't finna call nobody. For what? We wasting time. I could be whooping your ass. <sighs> but anyways, y'all. Damn, I can't even go work out now. It's raining. You went to work out in the rain last time. 
I ain't working out in this rain. Then I tell you take Zeus ass upstairs. Okay. Well, everybody, it's a sad situation. I was heard about it a few months ago. You yeah, the bath. You need to go run him some bath water. I was heard about it a few months ago. You know when it happened. But after the whole him going to jail situation. I really was overall everything. But don't call me trying to feed me no bullshit. And you over at that bitch house, the last place you know you better not go to. And I think the bitch paroled over there. That's what's so funny about it. But I would I don't even have time out of my life to put forward towards trying to get back at anybody anymore or making anybody's life miserable. I'm just about me and my kids. Shit. If you ain't with us, you will guess us. Fuck that nigga. Milo, if you're watching, I know you're going to watch this. Fuck you and that bitch and that little ugly ass baby. And y'all, I'm going to call the little baby ugly because she trying to talk about my son. So I got all right to talk about her kids, even though right ain't wrong. Even after I try to let that slit shot, let shit slide. Look, Teresa, I ain't at work. I ain't at work. <laughs> don't you don't ride? Fuck it, man. Motherfucker, think I've been trying to catch this bitch for the past I don't know how long. She won't even come in Walmart. Whenever Whitney come in there, she see me, she go the other way. They funny. My Faithy's watching. Hey, Faithy, you can't gonna believe what the fuck. I'm about to call you later. Cause these hoes is funny. But I want everybody to know that nigga ain't got shit. He ain't doing shit. He ain't gonna do shit. Motherfucker, 42 years old. Got eight motherfucking kids. Don't take care of none of them. Anything that them kids done got in the past six years, they done got from me. He won't work. He won't do shit. If he do get with this bitch and he act right, that's because I made him that way. So, in advance, you're welcome. Because he wouldn't be the man he is without me. And y'all, I'm mad. I'm finna roll up. I'm mad it's raining. I'm finna roll up, y'all, and fuck it. I'm trying to stay out of trouble. Motherfucker's trying to play me like a... The fuck? You, he gonna call me yesterday. You already know, Faith. Call me yesterday. Crying. You my witness. Talking about how he can't live without me and all this and that. And he loved me more than his kids. But this is what you do. I hate I ain't turned my camera on when he was across the street. Y'all should have seen his face. Got his bitch out here picking up damn clothes. That's funny. Well, y'all, my inbox is already juking. I guess since I'm single. And I don't want no scary ass niggas. Because niggas be acting like they scared of him. He ain't gonna do shit. Can't do shit. Motherfucker can't even come on here. So I can have whoever over here I, I motherfucking want. And y'all, in advance, you're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. If he is a good nigga, if he ain't still, you're welcome. Because, bitch, that's what you motherfucking get. Sure, you deserve his ass. Y'all deserve each other. And I deserve better. So, with that being said, y'all have a good day. Let me see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pete.